urban refurbishment project. So it was, this space was all here, all of the elements were sort of roughly where they are now. And it was really an exercise in decluttering what was here to reveal some of the important heritage aspects of the site. We have Cenotaph, which um, built in 1932. It was really a commemoration to 1,700 Wellingtonians that lost their lives in World War I. And the significance of that particular memorial is that it was built from contributions from the public, which I think is an incredible thing to have happened. The other big cultural factor is Parliament. So it was really editing this space to give that more prominence and then inserting this big gesture of access to democracy being the stair up to Parliament. In terms of the natural heritage, this site um, was once the space through which a stream ran, Waipiro Stream, and um, the significance of that to local Māori here was um, a story that has been passed on through the generation. Jo Sheehan, the artist who did Walk the Line, which is a, a piece that reflects the natural history of the site. It um, is a response to the wide Piro stream. So the installation are small um, Panamu insects and then there are speakers just uh, sort of secreted under the paving here that emanate sounds of a stream. It works really well as a movement space as well as a hesitation space, so that has been a huge benefit. And the other big success, which was also a bit of a surprise, was how the stairs are being used. We always thought it would be a seating space and sort of informal gathering space. It's also really well used for um, boot camp, which has been surprising. Over lunchtime, these stairs just, it's really great for Winston Peters to go and get his coffee at Charlie's. <laughs> I feel that it has been successful on two fronts. One, that people are using it, but also that it's really opened up this connection from Parliament to the city. And this corner has really revitalised the energy between the two parts of the urban precinct, I guess.